I'm Mike Stefano. I run the most successful limousine company in Northern California, and this is my life. It's a family-owned business, and this is my father-in-law, Doug. The limo company was kind of an idea for me to have a limousine. This is what it amounted to. And then I thought, well, to make it useful, I'm going to have to tell my wife that Mike's going to take and rent this thing out. We're a team, you and I. Yeah, I was fibbing. Yeah, I was fibbing a little bit. <laughs> Mike and my daughter live right next door, and they have for probably 10 years. We've lived here for 38 years, but we've only been farming this about three years. We financed the buying of the first limo. And they just took off with it, and it just ended up great. I just kept growing the business. He knows if he didn't make a go, but his mother-in-law would be really upset because he'd have to pay those lines off. <laughs> we'll take you to Vegas. I mean, we'll take you wherever you want to go. That's not a problem. He's determined. He's got a lot of energy and ambition. I like to run my company like a well-oiled machine. I don't pay you to think. I want someone down there to listen to where that noise is coming from. $300 bonus to you in cash. I can't find a driver who wants to make some money. Are we going to make it? Mike is a hands-on kind of guy. Thank you for calling home limousine service. Which is a nice way to say he's a control freak. Sometimes you gotta kick the machine for it to run properly. I am pissed! You're yelling and screaming and hollering. My aggression is gonna be handled within five minutes. Bruce been with me for about three and a half years. And it's the greatest hurry up and wait, sit on your ass job ever. A great guy, he'll do anything for you, but he's a pain in the ass. I've got my own little quirks and Mike's got his as well. Every single weekend, he bitches about something. And every Monday, I want to fire him. I'm not actually worried about getting fired. So I know where the bodies are buried. The customer will call me and say, Bruce did this, 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 and this. And he's like, Mike, it's them, it's them. 99 times out of 100, the people are just flat making stuff up. I've been taking abuse from these guys all day long when they were sober. Now they're drunk, it's gonna get even uglier. Woo! It's always the customers, never him. No one's really fair or reasonable once they've had a few beers, or tequila, or Grey Goose, or Patron. That's bullshit. We're selling a service. As you say it nicely, he's kind of like a slob. Yeah, I mean, all day. I would hate to see his house. We're actually uh, right across the street from my studio apartment here. I live above a bar called Banana Joe's. Uh, we had a stabbing last week. Then we had a home invasion. But other than that, it's centrally located. I'm just a couple blocks off the freeway. Harvey's a great guy. Put a smile on your face and the tip gets bigger, you know? Get phone numbers and everything. The only problem with Harvey, though, is he loves to party. Oh, dude, it's always good. Which is fine. I was 26 once, too, and believe me, that's what you do. He likes the ladies. Handsome Harvey right here, dude. That's how I got my name, you know? And the ladies love him, obviously. Shit, sometimes I look a little too good. I get hit on by gay guys, too, you know? But hey. I'm sure it's a great limo company, but look at this limo driver. Look at him. I would hire it just for him. <laughs> <laughs> I should be getting paid good money for this, dude. Gary is a very good chauffeur. I primarily just drive this bus only, and I love this bus. Customers absolutely love him. It's totally opposite than everything else. You're more of a personal driver than a limo driver. Yeah, every time I come to work, the bus is filthy. Now, on the other hand, all he does is bitch. What the? Oh. Not one weekend goes by, he doesn't complain about something. Well, it's Monday again. How was your weekend? Morning! Good. How are you? We got issues again. Within 30 feet, I could tell you, the rear end's out, it needs brakes. Let's figure this out once and for all. He's like, how the hell do you know the rear end's out? I know it's gonna change again next week because that's how these limos are, so. He gets so sick, because I'm always right. Let's just get it done. Well, it's not the limos, Mike, it's the shade tree mechanics. Here, those are your screws. For what? To put in the rope line, they go through the roof, it's your problem, you have to pay me to fix that those too. Those aren't fucking eight inches. I got your eight inches, buddy. James is kind of a unique character. Basically what I do is keep everything running for him. Oh, fucking thing went like this. I know, because it's loose. There's a bolt. I told you, a bolt that's loose. Mike rides him pretty hard sometimes. You got a love-hate thing going on. Calls him up at 1 o'clock in the morning and... Party bus broke down, James. You need to run to San Francisco and go get it. Oh, James gets dressed and away he goes. Let me tell you what the problem is, Okay. Mike. Real simple. You want me to finish this, you want me to finish that. But then you tell me, okay, I want you to get it done in an hour because it's got to run. It's tough. Sometimes, you know, things take longer than... Mike expects, for sure. I lied, it's Wednesday. This you see, we went for Friday, Thursday, and now you tell me it's gotta be done on Wednesday. This is what I'm talking about. But there was a time recently where we had to have a come to Jesus talk. We're not getting that done, we're not getting that, we're not getting that, we're not getting that. It doesn't matter how much time he would have, he still wouldn't get it done. Jump in it, throw some ice in there, throw a couple bottles of bubbly, and have a good evening. 
So that's it. It's all good. Never a dull moment.